and I would like to introduce uh, Yang Zhu. Uh, she will present uh, a paper entitled 3D Autos Autos Autostereoscopic Display Image Generation Using Direct Light Field Rendering. And uh, she is currently pursuing the PhD uh, at the University of Southern California. And uh, she has, uh, she is, she sh her research interests now include 3D vision and 3D light field rendering. This talk will be introduction and brief background about autostereoscopic 3D display techniques and multi-view algorithm, which is a previous way and the proposed way that is a live view rendering framework. And lastly, I will show our result and conclusion. Rapid development of 3D display technologies have enabled consumers to enjoy 3D world through the various 3D displays. <clears throat> It provides a large number of light rays having high spatial and angular frequency. However, the conventional algorithm which generates light rays for 3D display is not sufficient in terms of there is a corresponding increase in the complexity of the conventional 3D algorithm to achieve a sufficient level of reality. So in this presentation, We'll answer the question how we can generate 3D display light rays in an efficient manner. So there are uh, challenges, as I mentioned, the conventional display render algorithms have a big issue about the computational time and memory usage to generate the display image. Before we talk about the algorithm, I want to introduce a brief concept of autostereoscopy display. The source of light is LCD panel, and each pixel becomes a light array. And the direction of light array is controlled by some optical components, such as lenticular lens or parallax barrier. Let the figure shows the concept of multi-view display since it has convergence points. It has a fear convergence point. So it provides motion parallax, which is not continuous. However, for the light figure shows the light field display, which provides a large number of viewpoints. So according to our movement, we can enjoy continuous motion parallax. This slide shows the previous way. Since 3D display has a large number of light rays, the different directional light rays, it is difficult to process. So the previous studies, previous methods, try to make a group which to easy to process. So they make a group of light rays which go to some point, it means uh, some viewpoint. So make a group, and this group of light rays can be interpreted as image. Since the viewpoint is separate to each other, the image can be interpreted as multiple images. However, these conventional methods have severe problems. The left figure shows five view display system. For the five display system, five multi-view images is enough. It's not a big deal. How about for the light field display? Since the light field display has a large number of viewpoints, we should generate a large number of multi-view images to generate light field images. So it is a very big issue for computational time and memory usage. This slide shows the framework for the previous way, which is called multiple viewpoint rendering. From the stereo image, the disparate map is estimated from the stereo map image and disparate map. Now, multiple images are generated. Since multiple images can have a whole region, which is disoccurated from the stereo image, we should fill the whole region for each multiple. And then just weave the whole field multiple image, then can we, can, we can obtain the final display image. However, if the viewpoints of display is increased, there are a large number of multiple images, and there are a large number of processing, and we need a large number of multiple images for memory usage. 
So I propose the algorithm which does not generate 2D image, which is multi-view image anymore. So the computational time and memory stage is independent from the number of viewpoints of 3D display. So this slide shows the framework of proposed algorithm. From the left and right image, the display map is estimated. From it, we generate the 3D panel image directly. Since in this case, the whole can be accurate too, so we first first estimate the whole region and we restore the whole region's the texture and disparity and using the color for hull and color for disparity for hull region um, generated for the, their display too. And then combine these two images, then you can simply obtain the third panel image. And this, from this slide, I show the process. First, we should know about the parameters for a 3D display, such as lens, focal lens, or gap. And we can know about these parameters through the 3D display calibration processing. And then we we do processing about stereo matching to estimate 3D structure from stereo contents. And we use dynamic programming for the display and for the first processing we use the minimization algorithm. And we estimate for the whole region at bottom figure shows the uh, restored whole region and disparity. And using this color and depth and restored and whole region, we apply the, the algorithm which does not need multi beam image anymore. Um, before I talk about the algorithm, I want to introduce light field representation. Light field representation presents the light as of four parameters. There are two parallel planes, the one is omega and, and the other is pi. And the points which are passing by plane omega can be x, y point, and the point that is passing by the pi plane is s, t. So if we apply it to the autostereoscopy 3D display, then the omega plane can be a display. And pi plane can be a viewing distance. So the light ray from the pixel, which is x, y, go to st, simply make an equation from the right figure. Since the optical components is uh, fixed, so the di right, right direction of light rays are fixed too, so we can easily find out the relational equation at the bottom, SX equal the, the equation. Since it is very simple, the left figure shows the right rays and, and the right field representation used only two, two axes because most of the 3D display provide only horizontal motion parallax, so we can ignore the vertical, vertical components such as Y and T. And if we think about the X axis and S axis, the bottom figure show the light array. It is very complex to analysis. However, the right figure show the light array in a light field representation. So all light ray can be a dot in a light field representation. Moreover, we can make a simpler model using this representation since group of dots can be a line and it can be a multi-line having same slope and same interval. So it can be modeled by simple linear equation, which is the bottom equation. And this is slide show the 3D point P in a stereoscopic image can be represented in a light field representation too. Uh, there is a some point and left and right. And since we restore the disparity value, so if we reconstruct it in a light field space in a, the right figure, then the blank line, the sloped blank line is a 3D point P in a light field representation. As you can see, it can be simply defined by the disparity value of the point. 
So, so this slide shows how the, how the concept of how we can generate the autostereoscopic display images. If there is a point P and the yellow region is a possible region, the point P can be assigned to the pixel, the exit pixel. And the rendering processing is to find a pixel of light light which go to the point P and then we can find the pixel that is the right pixel that go to the p point P so we can assign the information of the point P to the location of the pixel. That's the processing. So the reason why the multiple point rendering construct multiple images is that the previous way doesn't know the right destination of the point P, so they generate every possible de destination first as a processing of re multiple rendering, and then ge they choose the right destination in the weaving process. However, our algorithm doesn't can compute the right destination, so we do not need to generate every possible destination. So that's why it is efficient, and that's why we do not need to do the images anymore. So this slide showed how we can know about the right destination. So the blue dots are light rays from 3D display, and blank lines show the 3D point in the right field. And then the intersecting point between the display light field function, which is blue lines, and point light field function, which is blank line, represent the correct destination among all possible destinations of the 30 point P. And it can be easily defined by simple, simple equation, simple linear system. And the equation is left, left part show the blue lines and right right hand side of equation show the point line 30 point so we can com we can compute the location of the x then we can just assign the information of the p to the location of to x so this is slide show the experimental region as, as i mentioned before the proposed algorithm which is dlfr is independent of number of views. The x axis shows the number of views of the display, and y axis shows the computational time and memory usage. However, the previous method, which is multiple point rendering, is increased with increasing number of viewpoints. So we have experimented the real data, real stereo contents, which is animation and stereo movies, and the broadcasting data. All thirty videos and total two thousand seven hundred five frames, and our display system is four K UHD thirty panel, and which provide ninety six viewpoints. So um, we compute the com computational time and memory usage. So we reduce ninety nine percent of memory usage and eighty eight percent of computational time. And this is slide show the result for the, the panel image result. And as you can see, the panel image is quite similar to each other. So we can obtain similar quality with the previous algorithm. So the conclusion is, conclusion is in this work, we present autostereoscopy 3D display rendering framework from stereo sequences, so um, the most important thing is we do not generate 2D images anymore, and we obtain promising result. The computational time is reduced about 80-80%, and memory stage is reduced to about 90-90%, and we introduce total framework which take stereo images to generate autostereoscopy 3D display image. And we can process like a hard filling algorithm or boundary blending algorithm in the light that in this framework too. So thank you. Thank you for here.